Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. Today our topic is ChatGPT interaction with Mendix. I hope you guys are already aware what is ChatGPT. It's a form of generative AI. GPT means generative pre-trained transformer. Okay, let's start. Open platform.openai.com. After sign in, I'm just creating the new project. I'm just naming it as new ChatGPT testing. Now we need to generate the API key. Click dashboard menu. Under API keys, create new secret key button and generate secret key. Now copy the secret key. I'm just pasting in Notepad. So other than API secret key, we need API request URL and request and response structure. So everything they clearly mentioned over the document. As a Mendix developer, for us it's just a REST call activity. Let me open my Studio Pro. I'm creating one blank application for ChatGPT testing. It's opening. As a first step, I'm going to create a domain model. Just one entity. I'm just naming it as message. Two attributes. One is text. Another one is response. Now I'm just generating the overview pages. Done. It's created. I am duplicating the edit button. Microflow call. In this microflow only, we are going to call our chat GPT REST call activity. Before REST call, we need to collect few things, right? First thing, request JSON. I'm just copying and store it in the JSON structure. Just sky and request. Just format refresh. Okay. Again, I'm going to create one more JSON structure. This one is for response. I just copy the response and paste it here. Same format refresh. Okay. Done. Now I am creating one constant for storing API request URL. Okay, I am just copying the request URL and pasting it here. Again creating one more constant. Here I am storing API key. Okay. Now I am going to call the REST call activity. First configuration location, we know API request URL. And HTTP method is post. And for client certificate, click override and give the API key. Okay. Now header section. We need to create two key value pairs. Content type application slash JSON and authorization bearer plus API key. Okay, okay. Now request section. I'm choosing export mapping for the entire request. I'm just creating new export mapping. In export mapping schema source, I'm giving as request JSON structure. Let me just change the name root to something else. I'm just changing to request. Now I'm just reselecting the source again. It will be get reflected. Now click map automatically to create entities. Same way for response also, I'm just changing the name. Now we need to create a request object. Before that, I'm just hard coding few values. Only prompt to be a dynamic one. Remaining all, I'm just copying similar to the website. Now I'm creating the request object and giving the prompt as message text. Also, I'm setting in the request as well. Now response. For response, we need to create the import mapping. Same way, I'm just creating. This time schema source as response JSON structure. I'm selecting only needed fields. After selection, click OK. Again, click map automatically. The MDT will be created. Now I just give the name for response variable. Almost all done. Now we need to just retrieve the data from the association. Choices list. I need only one object. I'm just taking head. At last change message object. I'm just setting the value response as whatever the response we are getting. This choice text has the actual value. Almost done. Let me just add the error handler also. Usually we need to add the error handler for the rest calls. This is also done. In home page, I'm adding the navigation for the overview page. All done. I'm just executing the application. Okay, it's executed. For testing, I'm just asking the question, what is Mendix? I'm just saving and clicking the API call. Okay, we get the response. ChatGPT also make mistake. I hope it's valid response. Thanks for watching.